of the dressing up van because we're shooting on location today so this is my makeshift closet shoe closet workstation accessory station <laughs> photo shoot it is 5 p.m and i woke up at 5 a.m so it's been 12 hours of constant things happening and then now i'm going to actually have a shoot with slater so it's a very busy day but i'm still alive and kicking i have so much energy in me and i feel like it's because i really got inspired by the people i was working with earlier it really helps when you're surrounded by creatives or individuals that have a certain energy have a certain drive it inspires you to do more to do better it inspires you to also have that energy so i'm really happy to have that experience today wow it works how to show you guys my little makeshift tripod situation Ta-da! Welcome back, SkyFam. I'm in Manila right now. As you can see, this is not the SkyPod. I arrived last night from Bangkok. I went on a probably five-day trip with my good friends, Lorene and Camille. I used to travel with them all the time. But since the pandemic and getting married and having kids, we haven't been able to do that. I think the last time we traveled together was 2017. So it's been six years already. It's crazy. And I just didn't want to be pressured to vlog or shoot content. You know, when you're with other content creators, it can get really busy. So I just wanted to take that pressure off of the trip and really enjoy and be in the moment. And I'm so happy that we got to do that. But right now it is back to work. We have an event later for Love Bonito. We just launched our collection yesterday. It's online now on the website of Love Bonito. It's looking really cool. I can't believe that I am on their website. Like when you click on the link, it's my face, which is nothing short of amazing. I mean, Love Bonito has been a brand that I've seen really from the ground up. I met the co-founder, Rach, maybe back in 2014, 2015. We had a press trip together in Sydney and her shop at that time, I think Love Bonito was just on Multiply or like some social networking site. And she was selling clothes. And now to see it as a brick and mortar store all over Asia and even in the US, to see her tapping like these big names all around the world. And for me to be part of that story is just really such an honor. And I'm so happy to be working with their team and this brand that really empowers women. You guys know that I am loyal to the brand. I always mention them. I always wear them. Maybe 60-70% of my clothes in my closet are Love Bonito. It's just because, you know, as a mom, I value now comfort and clothes that make you feel good without having to really think about how you feel in them. When I was a little bit younger, I would be a little bit more experimental with my clothes and 
even if it didn't really fit right, you know, I would style it in a way that made it still look good. But then the whole day I would be fidgeting over it and stuff like that. With Love Bonito, that's never happened. Their pieces are really made for the Asian women, which is great because I'm very petite. And so if I shop in other stores, it's hard for me to find a size that really suits me. But with Love Bonito, all the pieces are made to fit me really well. And not only that, I feel like all of their pieces are designed with such empathy because they always think about the wearer, right? Like if it's a low back dress, there's always pads in it. There are always pockets in like wide skirts or pants. I mean, it all just works. It's always well made. The price points are, are good for the quality. I mean, it's just a no-brainer brand that you should really get on. I'm gonna do a little try on haul for the pieces in my curated collection that I did with them later on because Lynn and her team are gonna come in to do my makeup. So I am going to get my glam on first and then I will try on all the pieces for you before the event. Let's go! This is the final hair and makeup look. Look at this back detail of my hair. It's so cute. And the makeup is so fresh, snatched. I love Lynn because she really knows how to put on makeup for Chinita girls like me. And this is the outfit for the day. These pants are part of my collection, but these are the white version. And this is a bra top that I also got from Love Bonito. They have a active wear line on their website called Cheek. And then... I will just top it off with this very cute vest, also from my collection. Ta-da! The look is very rich. <laughs> it's so cute, I love it. And because there is a little skin showing here, it keeps the look a little bit young and youthful. And the pearl details here match my pearl necklace. This vest also comes in a black version. They are so cute. Iba din yung vibe niya. And with my bag. I love it, it's so cute. This is the leather skirt that I wore to the shoot. It also comes in like an olive green version, which I think is also really cute. I wanna get it also. And then I had them change my size to extra small because I feel like I lost so much weight. So the small size no longer fits me. Ito na siya, guys. It's a one piece suit. So you can tuck it in and wear it with the skirt and the back detail is just so pretty. So you can wear this to a night out. Leather skirt in the Philippines, why not? <laughs> and I love how sexy it is. But if you are not into showing your skin, then it can be a really cute piece to layer under. Jackets, blazers, vests like this. So this is how I styled it. I think I wore it with a hat, a loose ponytail, and sambas. But you can easily dress this up with gold accessories, high heels, elevated hair like this, diba? Right? Cute then. Okay, here's another one. I really love this jumpsuit. I feel like it falls in just the right places, hugs you in just the right places. It looks so elegant. Para siyang maxi dress with pantsuit siya and it has pockets. Here's another one. These are the same trousers that I wore earlier. This is in the lavender color. There are other colors also which I will link down below. But I love how thin the fabric is and how relaxed the fit is. It's not like too casual corporate. You can dress it down, you can dress it up. So I'm wearing it with this crop top which is just basic. You can wear it with everything. And I love this very effortless vibe. <laughs> And the last piece that I want to show you guys is my favorite set of all. I love coordinates because they look so put together and you don't really have to think a lot about them. And you can get this in the same color, but how I'm styling it now is a green on khaki version. There's also an all white version. I really love how effortless this looks, how good it is, the oversized fit of the blazer. This is a size extra small, but the one I wore to the shoot was a size small and it still fits me really, really well. So if you guys want to grab any of these pieces from Love Bonito, I will put all of the links down below. Please do support our LBX Chris collection. And thank you so much, Love Bonito, for sponsoring this segment of the video. 
the Vermins are here, and we are here for LB Cityscape, the launch of our eight-piece capsule collection by not just one, but two of our love bonito ladies over here. Can we give it up for Colleen Garcia and Chris Uy? Hey, girls. Hi, guys. <laughs> hello, hello. I am. I guess I used to level two. Okay, ding. So ladies, just a quick chit chat. For you, what were some of these like tra life transitions? And maybe be it like a, you know, being a mom or a career move. Tell us more about some of those and what were the challenges? I think the most challenging transition for me was definitely stepping into motherhood. Because yeah. like, I had to unlearn everything that I thought about myself and then stepping into this new world, I'm sure you can relate na parang, what is this life? Parang hindi na pala yung priority. Ako pala yung, di ba, like, mo tayo yung baby. Hindi na. No, hindi na yung special. Masa super hindi na talaga yung transition to motherhood. But I super agree with you na it's in these moments that are challenging that we really grow as people and we can't stop there if takot tayo sa what if. Mm -hmm. Parang hanggang doon lang yung life natin, di ba? I think it's these big moments na we push ourselves even though it's hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Choose your heart nga, di ba? Sabi nila, o oh, di ba? Everything is hard <laughs> at the end of the day. Yun naman pala yun. You have nail polish? And I use it for my nail polish. That is okay. my nail polish white. Yo, like moss. Oh, there. Mm. Scotty loves to trace his own name. But there's a Y in my name. Here, Y. Y O U N G. Scott, Noah, yeah. Papa. 
Bye bye. Nyam. 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 Wake up early in the morning to eat bread right away. Mm, I miss you. So every morning before school, Scotty makes me take him to our neighbor's house and then I walk back home. <laughs> Why do you always ask me to go with you in the morning? Okay, like. <laughs> Are you excited to go to school? Yes. Yes, okay, great. I love you. <laughs> this is our routine every morning. Walk to neighbor's house. You want this? What's that? Oi, there's plastic pa. Here. Oh. Whoop. 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 There. <laughs> More? Eat. Eat. <laughs> from Healthy Options. They saw that you really like to eat the snack, so they gave you some more. I'm not sure what's inside. Let's find out together, okay? Yeah. Hmm? Cheese? You already ate the cheese. Yeah. Yeah? <gasps> Toby, will you look at this? Oh, it's all your favorite food. Oh. oh, another one, Tobes. Oh my gosh, it's your favorite. Yogi's. Oh my God, Sevi loves these. Look at this. A new bib for Sevi. Oh, some more creamies. This one for sure he loves. He loves Greek Yogi's. Mama, open this. Uh, this one, Mama, open. Uh, um, you want me to open everything? Uh, oh, what do you want Mama, me to uh, open? You want this one or you want some yogis? Which one do you want? Yeah. This one, okay. Yeah. I think you're too big for this, Dohan. It's made of organic carrots, bananas, mangoes, and sweet potatoes. Oh no! Oh. oh. I just spent the whole entire morning working and now Scotty's back from school. I make it a point to like crunch all my work at the time when he's in school so that when he's back, I can take a break because I know he's gonna disturb me. At ayan nga, I can hear him already. <laughs> Cry? I'm so proud of you. Did you have fun? Yeah. You did? Oh, that's great. Ugh. Mom, I was a little clumsy. You were clumsy? A little bit. Why? What did you do? A little clumsy. What? Teacher said. Oh, but why did, what did you do? Why were you clumsy? I made something wrong. Like what? I don't know. You forgot? Yeah. Did you fall down? No. Did you spill something? No, I don't know. Can you tell me what your snack was in school? It was cheese wrapped in something. Was it cheese wrapped in bread? A different kind of bread. A thin bread. A, A thin, thin bread. bread? A thin bread? You mean salty bread? No, no. A thin... A thin bread. Oh, you gotta enunciate, honey, so mommy can understand you. So, it, it was thin bread, bread... That color brown. Oh, okay. Mommy, I'm gonna make you a clown. You wanna make me a clown? 
Why don't I make you a clown? No. Yes. Mommy. But you're a cuter clown than I could ever be. I like mommy to be a clown. <gasps> I know what we can do. That can I like. Open your my gift. <laughs> that was fast. What do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, let's find <laughs> out. <laughs> This is a gift for Scotty and Sammy. Excuse me, Sammy. Don't worry, that for you and me. Don't worry. There's something here for you. Sammy, exercise for you, Mom. Okay, close your eyes first. I want to surprise you. Close your eyes. Wait for it. Ready? Set. Red Atoro. Red Atoro. Okay, close your eyes again. can even turn. Are you happy? Yeah. Yay. Bye. Oh, ikaw na pud. You have this one, a car. A toy car for swimming. Wow. We got this for Sevi because he loves cars and he, well, I'm trying to get him to love swimming too. Yes, babe, come here. Oh, you want to open that one? Okay. Changed because they want to try out the little floater and look at this boy and his little banana hammock. It's so cute. 